What if you could type anything into a prompt and immediately have a 3D model of it ready to go? Well, I received an email the other week from a new AI company that does just that. And beyond generating 3D models, it can not only retopologize them perfectly, but in the case of a character model, it can rig and animate them too. And within seconds, you can go from an idea to seeing whatever you've imagined in the 3D software of your choice. Sound good? Well, that is if it actually does what it claims to do. So today we're going to be testing the new AI platform, Tripo 3 d on three main metrics. First, the ease of use. Second, the quality of the results. And third, we'll be answering the question of if it's actually worth using. Okay, so first of all, you can sign up with the link in the description. And when you log in, you can see all sorts of results Tripo has created in the past, which you can even preview and download to use in your own projects if you want. And here, at the bottom, is going to be the prompt box where you can type in anything imaginable. So I'm going to keep it simple and try typing in hamburger. And immediately, there's going to be a bunch of examples of what to expect. So I'll go ahead and click the create button here, and within literal seconds, Tripo gives me four high-quality options to choose from. These are all original and generated using its unique AI framework. So I'll go ahead and click refine on the one that I think looks best. And boom, there's our 3D model. Yes, it is that simple. Now, before I download it, I'm gonna check the re-topologize option, which is gonna make sure that the geometry is ready to be used in a 3D software. Which, when I uploaded a video on AI in the 3D industry a long time back, it seemed to be the thing that everybody was concerned about it not being able to do. Which, Tripo fixes, so good job, Tripo. And by the way, you can select from a bunch of file options for the model, but if you use the default like me, you can import this into Blender by clicking File, Import, and then selecting GLB from the File Options. And if you have my Quick Shader Setup add-on, which basically just makes the default texture look a little bit more realistic, this looks incredible in render mode. And if you have it generate a character model, like this monster thing, you can click here and have Tripo rig and animate it to do whatever you want, like for example, walking. And if that's not enough, you can even upload photos of real life objects and have Tripo use its AI to transform them into 3D models you can download and use in all of your projects. I've seen other AIs be able to do this in the past, but nothing that comes close to what Tripo is capable of. Also, real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Benji3D. I used to publish a ton of Blender tutorials, but I've kind of taken a break over the past year, and now that I'm back, the YouTube algorithm is really punishing me, so it would mean a ton if you maybe share this to somebody you think would think it's interesting. And if not, just dropping a simple comment would help a ton. So thank you so much. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so now that we know that this works, I want to see how good it actually is. Yes, it can clearly generate something simple like a hamburger, but can it generate something more complex and difficult to create on its own? And I want to test this on three things. Uniqueness, the material quality, and its depth of geometry. So first, I'm going to type in sofa with three seats and a white blanket on top. Because instead of just something generic like couch, this actually makes the prompt unique. Second, I want to clarify that the sofa should be made of leather. And third, I'm going to hit generate and see how it does. And this is the result. It nailed the unique prompt. The materials are distinct from one another and realistic. And when I import it into Blender, the geometry is beyond what, if I'm being honest, even I can do. So all in all, here's my honest review. Not only is Tripo super easy to use, not only are the results amazing, but yes, I think it's something that's actually worth using. I think this really just goes to prove that AI should not be something scary to 3D artists, but rather, it's just something that's going to truly help us out to make cooler results in the future. So please, check out Tripo with the link below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, it would mean a ton if you commented or shared it or anything. But other than that, I'll see you next time. Have a great day.